מסכת בו ומציע. כן, נו כויכס, בו ומציע יהודה מוד א', יהודה מוד א'. So, I have something nice to tell you regarding yesterday, before we start today's stuff. Yesterday, we learned the sugya of a person picking up something in the street that uh, he doesn't want for himself, he wants to be zoiche for his friend. And there was a debate whether that works or not, right? Rabbi Yochanan holds that yes, that the Magbir Metzel Chaveroi Kono Chaveroi. And the other people cannot say, or we don't say on behalf of other people, potential Zoichim, uh, that you are causing them a loss. So now, as I told you, the question is, what's the difference between this and the Baal Choyv, right? The Baal Choyv, we said, the same Rabbi Yochanan, by the way, the Rishonim point out, the same Rabbi Yochanan holds that really uh, a person is not allowed to take and represent one Baal Choyv and take money owed to Baal Choyv on the expense of other Baal Choyvois. That Rabbi Yochanan says you cannot do. So why is it by Metzia you can take for one person on the expense of others? And then we said, because it's very simple. The reason is because really by Metzia, we say also part of the story, he too can also be Zoich in the Metzia. So he says to the others, or we say on his behalf, he's part of the Maisa, just like he can be Zoich for himself, everybody else, including himself, can be Zoich. He can also be Zoich, so he can be Zoich for others. The, the Mashiachan over there has nothing to do with it in the case of Baal Choyv. The Ritva gives another excellent tarot. The Ritva says it's not the same. Because over there, you're causing them a real loss because they really are owned money. Here, you're causing them potential loss. <laughs> it's not a real loss. In other words, the other people could have been Zoich and Aveda. Why did you pick it up from Shlomazo? We, the other people, could be Zoich. But he's not taking something out of their pockets. The Schenken money that they lent, and this money is owed to them, then your mom is causing a real loss to the other people. That's much worse. And that you cannot do. That's the answer of the ritva. And by the way, I also promised you I'll tell you the halacha. Yes, the halacha is, as I thought, Rabbi Yochanan's halacha. Yes, one may be zoiche in a metziah for one person. Yeah. And even though the other person is not there, the other person did not send him, he can be self-appointed shliach to be zoiche in a metziah for another person. And we don't say that considered a loss to the other people. How can start a new Mishnah? New Mishnah, Baruch Hashem, says the Heilig Mishnah, this shows the Ilu Nishmas Tobi Moir, Menachem Ben Akiva, Ule I, Lui Nishmas, Ruth was Shalom Sorbas Moshe, the Fuas Akiva Ben Homer, Norman Ko, Labas Tom, Shmuel, where I've all been you, the Sudis Basif, Kapinah, Bas Gola Ochen, Oven Yako Ben Gold, Esther Gabriel, but so Hanabat Sim, Esther from Moshe, and Alta Besoch, and Holy Soil. Says the Mishnah, Roy saw Metzia Venofal Oleo. A person saw Metzia, he saw uh, Mishnah, Mishnah Yudam Udalit, yeah? He saw Metzia in the street and he fell upon it physically. He basically fell on purpose. He like charged and threw himself on the Metzia. Ubo Acher, Bo. Another person came and held the Metzia. Another person came and held the Metzia. Zesh Echzik Bo, Zoho Bo. The second person who held the metzia is the one that is zoiche, which means the person who saw the metzia first and dropped himself and like threw himself on the metzia on all four, although it's very dramatic, is not koine, it's not called a kinyan. He thinks it's a kinyan, it's not a kinyan to make yourself fall on the metzia on all sides and you know, hover over the metzia. It's not a kinyan, not a kinyan. And therefore, the other person who may come and the other person came and snatched it from underneath him and did Kinyan, let's say, Agba, he's the one who's koina, says the Gemara. Now we're going to, that Mishnah will be challenged, or the Gemara will be challenged by Mishnah. Amal Shlakish Mishum Abakon Bardala. The Shlakish says on, the, on behalf of Abakon from Bardala, from the city of Bardala. A person's Dalit Amos, a person's four Amos, Four armies around the person, where a person stands, let's say in the street, Lafida Avamina, you're standing in the street, halachically, the Dalad Amis within you could be two armies each direction or four armies each direction is a question. Yeah, the four armies next to you are koine to you, which means that if Machlokas are showing him, Rashi says, what does it mean to you, koine? You can see Rashi, Rashi says, in yesh, the voice of Dvar, 
hefker. If there's a hefker item near you, then says Rashi, ein another person cannot seize that object. Which means that when it comes to hefker or metzia, Chachomim established a, a, a kinyan with the Rabbonon, and that is the kinyan of Arba Amos. If there is a metzia within my Dalad Amos, it's mine. My time, why is that? Why did they invent such a Kenyan which is not the Oraisa? The Kino Abonon, the Loyosi Lansuye. Abonon wanted to avoid people from fighting. Explain the Mephoshim on Shulchan Oruch. Yeah, they say, people, the Maise, let's say a person stands next to a Metzia, and then another person comes and snatches, snatches it away from next to the other person. So, though halachically, just because something is near you doesn't mean that it's yours. But that's how people think. That's how people in their Balabatish mind, people say, hey, well, I was next to it first. Who cares you're next to it? But let's, the mice, that's how human nature is. So Chachomi made it a Takono. They made it a Takono that if something is within your Daladamas, Chachomi go along with the idea of the people and they say, it belongs to you, the Metzia fits within your Daladamas. If you notice, I keep telling you, and so does Rashi, they tell you that really only by mitzia that applies, only by hefkel, which means, let's say I want to be makne to you my item. I want to be makne to you my uh, my uh, baseball. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah, my tennis ball. So let's say I drop it next to your daladamis. Would you be koine? According to Rashi, according to Ritva, according to Mendy Rishoni, Mashma from Tosis, no. Really, there's no reason for that Kenyan over there. Why? Daladamis is to avoid fighting in the case of Hefker. If there's a Metzia in the street and Reuven stands next to it and Shimon will snatch it right by his feet, makes Reuven feel very wronged. And therefore we go along with Reuven and we say, if he was next to you, it's yours. Huh? But if I give my, if I want to give Yosef, my good friend, I want to give you a Kenyan, my tennis ball, so you can play, yeah? And then I throw it next to your feet, Next to your da- in, within your Daladamas, then of course nobody else would fight because everybody knows that I won't be makni to you and not to anybody else. However, really it's Machlokis and Yerushalmi. The Ritva brings down Machlokis of Yechonan and Reshlakish, our very own Reshlakish, that says that although the Svo of Daladamas only applies to Hefker, to Metzias, but really Rabbonan, they basically, according to Ritva, expanded it and Rabbonan said, no. Really, even when it comes to Mecca Chumemka and other kinds of, um, of you know, commerce, Mekinyonim, Daladamus of the person are pointed to the person if he's next to it. What's the idea of the Daladamus? I'll tell you why. The Rishonim say, everybody knows what Kinen Chotzer. Kinen Chotzer means my domain. My domain is coined for me, even without my knowing about it, right? Now, Dalad Amos are a similar idea to Chotzer. Every person has his Dalad Amis, for example, for Tchumin. If you go out of the Tchumin Shabbos, yeah, you went too far, 2,000 Amis away, more than 2,000 Amis, you're not allowed to walk anywhere. But you can walk within your Dalad Amis. Your Dalad Amis are considered your place. It's as if you have your own domain wherever you are. Although we're going to see a huge exception soon, but as of now, we assume wherever you are, you have your Dalad Amis surrounding you, is like a halo around you of, of area. And that area is like your private area. It's like where you feel safe and private in, in, to an extent, one second. And therefore, in that venue, Chachomim said, we're going to talk later about Chotzer Mishtameris, and Mishtameris. I'm not going now to explain it right now, but it's a form of an inferior Chotzer. So Domi Dorai said, it's not Koinul Chotzer. Nevertheless, Chachomim established it to avoid people from fighting. There's one case where Chachomim did not did not establish it, and that's by Ganev. <laughs> you know that a Ganev is koine. Ganev is koine by Chotzer, a Ganev, which is also a question, by the way. A Ganev is koine by Meshicha, but by Daladamas, a Ganev is not koine. That's what Toysu says. Because for Ganovim, we don't want to assist them and create Kinyonim for them. You already have questions? We didn't even start. Your question should have been better from this. Mission. Okay, to be continued, the Gemara will ask an even better question. Yeah.
Very good question. Yes, 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 yes. No, so if the Daladamas, right, if the Daladamas were Yitzchok's first and you run towards his Daladamas, that doesn't work. However, if the object fell into between two people who share the Daladamas, then they share the object. So if you and Yitzchok have a gold watch falling from Shemaim right between you, yeah, from a Japanese guy, yeah, here it's coming, look. So then you share the, the watch half half. And the maestro goes to, you know where, to the Koilo Beski. Omar Abaye. Now we're going to see the question, which I think you're asking, but even more. Otherwise, you let me know if you meant something else. Omar Abaye says, Abaye, Moise Rabchia Ber Yosef Peya. Rabchia Ber Yosef has a question on that concept of Daladamis from a Mishnah in Peya, which we'll see later. Omar Rove, and Rove says differently. He says, Moise Rabchia Yaakov Bar Idi Nezikin. They're not arguing. Each one brings a different source. Rav says that Rabbi Yaakov Bar Idi has a question on the concept of the Aldamas from the Zikin. Amar Bay, Moisav Abchir Bar Yosef Peya. What's his question from Peya? Where did we find a challenge, yeah, from the Mishnah in Peya to the concept of Kenyan Daladamis, which is like a new idea, Dorabanon, established by Shlakish, B'Shem Abakon Badala. Look what it says in the Mishnah over there. Notal Miktsas Peya. One of the Anim is one of the Anim. It's not a discussion now about rich and poor, the old poor. One of the poor people took a bit of peya, which means he took some, what, grains of wheat or barley or figs could also be fruit. Yeah, he took some of the peya of the, of the produce. He wants to mark his territory. So what does he do? He threw some of the barley on the other bundles of barley, yeah, or in the other growing barley, okay, to show that it's mine, yeah, like in an Israeli chasana, there are no name cards, so what do you do, you put your hat, you put your what, your handkerchief, you put it on the on the chair or on the plate before you go to wash your hands, to mark your territory, and every animal in nature, I think, does that one way or another, you mark your territory, but really, he means, you don't want to say how they do it, so Lemaise, here, he wants to do more than marking their territory, he wants to be coined. This person thinks that by throwing the chitim on the other chitim, that the other bundle of chitim will be nikne to him, will be on to him. So sadly, ain loy bo klum, it doesn't work. No, it's not a Kenyan. Loy matzinu, it's a nice idea, it's kind of cute, but chachomim and kolshik in the Torah never established a Kenyan of zrikas uh, chayfet. <laughs> throwing my object on the other object does not denote Kenyan yeah, it does not define any Kenyan here. No Faloyolea. He fell on the Peya. He actually is being very dramatic. He throws himself on the Peya and says, It's mine. I Porus Talis Oleo. He took his talis and he extends his talis. He basically yeah, places his talis over it. Mavirin Oiso Himeno. We tell him bye bye, mister. No, it's not yours. Other anim may take it. Yeah, other anim may take it. The same applies also to shikha, the other matters, and also leket, it says in the, in the Gilsa, which means shikha is the stuff that was forgotten by the farmer. Leket are the more than two uh, shiboili in the stalks that fell from his hand. Any kind of matnas anim, which is really kind of a tough war over there between the anim, yeah, or any other uh, uh, hefker, or any other, it's all hefker for the anim. If you throw yourself on it, or you put your stuff on it, that is not considered to be a Kenyan. By the way, Tosis points out, why do we allow the other people to snatch it from him? Although it was not a Kenyan, but you definitely know that's his intention. So aren't the other Anim called nasty people? Which means there's a local called Oni Amapech Bechororo. Oni Amapech Bechororo means if you see a poor man that is... Uh, is uh, scavenging in the garbage, yeah, he's uh, picking in the garbage, another Oni to find some diamonds, so you don't, another Oni is not allowed to snatch it from his hands, even before the Kenyan. Let's say, you know, your friend is very, very, very interested in a certain apartment to buy, or possibly a flat, then you're not allowed to quickly, you know, outdo him, yeah, outsmart and one-up him and get it before him for a better price. Because it's called, you, you know that he really wants it, so leave it to him. Here, Toysa says there's no such issue. Why? 
because by Kinyonim, we tell the second guy, excuse me, I don't know about the Oni really, who comes to Kinyonim, why do you need this apartment? There are other apartments. You have the money for the apartment. You even have more money. So instead of getting the apartment that he wants so much, get yourself another one. Comes to Metzia, that's much, uh, you can't say find another one. There is no other one. There's no other free gold watch out there. Mimela, we also justify the second person. And as long as the first person was in Koine, yeah, the second person can take it legally. But the big question is, here comes the question, here we come to attack the concept of Shlakish. If you say a person's Dalad Ames, Koine, anywhere and everywhere, as we just said, the guy who threw himself on the barley, on the wheat, yeah, then obviously it's within his Daladamas. He's actually on top of it. So even though throwing myself on it is not one of the 20 so kinyonim in the Torah, but let alone that tape of clay, let alone that it's within his Daladamas. It's very, very much within his Daladamas. And Mimela, why do we say that it's not koine? That's a big question. Chachomim established it. Let Chachomim come to his help. Yeah? No, what do you say, Bo? Is a comparison to American football. Answers the Gemara. Answers the Gemara. And I think it's a big Musa idea. What's the story over here? Deloy Omar Akni. He did not say that he wants to be koine with the Dal Damas Mukhachomim. He didn't actually express himself saying, I want to use the zchus that Chachomim gave me. Frag the Gemara. So what? He talk on Rabbanon, but it's automatic. Like by Chotzer, it's an automatic thing. Itakun Rabbanon, if Rabbanon made it a Kono, it's, excuse me, an automatic thing. Kiloi Omar, my Havi. So what? If he didn't say anything, you don't have every time have to say, if I'm doing Kenya Nagbo, I don't have to say, I'm Kenya, Kenya Nagbo. Everything, what is this, like a, a comic book? Everything has to be explained. It's an automatic thing, it's a psikresha. Who cares what you said? And says the Gemara, no, 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 no. He's doing, he's, he's working against his own interest. Even the Nofal, hmm, he's doing too much because he fell upon it and he threw himself on the Metzia. Galidaite, he shows the Benefila Nichale Denikni. The Abamus Loi Nichale Denikni. Because he's actually throwing himself on the thing, if he believed in the power of Chachomim and want to use Chachomim's rights, he could have stood there, green, and just know that's my Daladamis. Why does he have to throw himself on it? He wants to do more than Chachomim. He thinks he's smarter. He's now to, to he's trying too much, too hard. Whenever you try too hard, it doesn't work in life. Yeah, too much ishtadlis is always bad. So Mimela here he's opting for his own make-believe Kenyan of throwing himself, showing by action, not only by words, that he's not interested in Kenyan Chachamim of Daladamis. Says in Nimuka Yosef, when a, that's, that's by the way legal. In other words, the Kenyan of Chachamim is not automatic. Let's say a couple gets married and we saw them with a kama, we will sit in Subas, and the woman has rights, and the woman says, I don't want the rights Chachamim gave me. Chachamim gave me the rights of what? Getting Parnosa for my husband, right? And I'll give him my Parnosa. I make a higher salary. I don't need to conos chachomim. For me, for my financial situation, I'm a top lawyer. I don't need my husband's money. He's in Koilo. So let's each one keep the money separate, which means that we may say, I'm not interested in the conos chachomim. That's fine. <laughs> Here, it works with detriment. Here, by jumping on it, not saying dalad amis, not only that, and yes, jumping all over the object shows how do you want to be coin it? By jumping. And not by what chachomim already gave you in a silver platter. So you want your own Kenyan. Sadly, your Kenyan just doesn't work. And the Kenyan, you jump from the pot to the frying pan. The Kenyan of Chacham, you're not interested because you're trying something else. And your something else is just your own fantastic uh, invention, which doesn't work. So you stay, Kireach, Mikan, Mikan. You lose on both ends. And Mimela, you're not going to. What? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, the other, the. It is the right of other anim to actually take it from underneath him, and that's it. Don't punch him in the face. It's not, no violence, please. 
Yeah, but they're allowed to take it from under his body because it's not a Kenyan. As Megali Benaf show that he's not interested in Kin Chachomim. But he's stupid because he did not use their Chachomim. do their best. As we say, let us help. Help us help. Please help us to help you. People who don't want to be helped by a rabbi, by a psychologist, by whoever cannot be helped. The only somebody who wants to be helped can be helped. Chachamim do their best to help people and avoid fighting. This guy is not working with the rabbinical system. So what can we do? So uh, so what? It's better. Choliot, he doesn't know. So either he's not interested or he's a... a Nebuch apikoris is like a tapikoris, it says. Lamais is a nebuch, but it is lack of knowledge. It makes him lose. Lamais is not coin. Don't be so nice to him and bad to the other guys. The other guys are also other anim there. They're also as desperate. Yeah, they all have 12 yisraimim at home. There and the wives have 12 yisraimim at home. What can you say? Yeah, they, they're... Zara. He's not doing the right Kenyan. We're not learning Musa here. At the end of the day, there was no correct Kenyan done by him. He's showing Mamish Be'adam. He's not interested in Kenyan Chachomim. Better. So don't use it. Either I hear what you're saying. His level of knowledge is another Shiloh. Well, Lamais is showing he's either not interested out of knowledge and not interested out of lack of knowledge. But Lamais, he's not. Or, the past that doesn't work. Oh. 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 Well, gives another answer, and that's the halacha. I've seen it everywhere, including Shulchan Aruch. Rapopa says, Kitakino no Rabon on Arba Amois, Be Alma, Be Alma means in an empty place. What does it mean, empty place? It means a place where a person may have his Dalad Amas, which means a quiet place. Remember the difference we discussed recently between the main street, Rashu Sarabim, and a Simta? What's Rashu Sarabim? Rashu Sarabim is a very busy place. In Rashu Sarabim, you don't have your own Dalad Amas. Boom, bam. Why? What's Daladamas? Ever been in Manhattan? I was once in life in Manhattan. I was, wow, I didn't believe so many people can walk together. It was like a sea of people. So you walk together in the busy street. Who has Daladamas? Everyone's walking on top of each other. In Manhattan, there is no Daladamas in a crowded place because you don't have your own domain. It's everyone on top of each other. There's no me or you. It's everyone uh, or everyone lumped together. One, one human mess. Mashain, mess and mess. <laughs> Mashain can in the Simta. In a quiet place, what's a simta? A simta is a place, I'll tell you a very good example for a simta from modern day uh, life. Ever sat on a park bench? Yeah, maybe. You sit on a park bench and you chat with your wife or your children for 10, 20, 30 minutes. Can somebody come rudely or nicely and say, excuse me, sir, can you just get out of your, can you get off the bench because I want to sit? No. And the guy will tell you, but it's a public bench. Yes. <laughs> Public doesn't mean that I have to evacuate it now. It means I'll use it for a reasonable time. When I decide to get up, you'll decide the same bench later to sit with your uh, family, right? That's Simta. Simta is a quiet place where I can tell people, please, I'm now doing a Kenyan here. We're doing fil shooting a film here. Yeah? We're now doing a Kenyan here. We're doing a Kenyan of Meshicha. A Simta is a place which is quiet, and I have my Daladamas because it's less frequented, less populous, less dense. And Mimel is such a place, Daladam supplies over there. In the Sade of the Balabais, it's a public place. Even though the Sade belongs to Mr. Usher Richman, Balamais, all the Anim are there together, and they're all allowed to be there together. It's Ashu Sarabim of the Anim. Says Rashi, Lotes Minadchak. Yeah, in other words, you can't, yeah, in other words, in the, in the, in the field, yeah, yeah, I'm saying in the field, all the Anim are what's well, not Rashi, somebody else says, all the anim are one on top of the other, or they're meant to be. Yeah, even if you have Dalai Damas right now, in any given moment, you can have a whole horde, a whole busload of anim from another town coming. It's supposed to be a place of Balagan. It's not meant to be a private place, the place of the Oshir, of the Bala Sode, when it's the time of the harvest. Mimela, you don't have Dalai Damas. Balabais, in that place, Rabbonon did not give him, Rabbonon did not allot to him. The Dalad Amis. Oh, Rashi here says, look at the second Rashi. It doesn't have Dalad Amis special designated for him. This Oni has many friends, or not so friendly friends, whoever, all standing together. 
And that's the way it's meant to be. Mimelo, there's no Daladamas in such a place. But that's the answer. So in our Mishnah, when we say that the person through the, in the Mishnah, sorry, when Rish Lakish said what? When Rish Lakish said there's a Daladamas, he was right. Where do you have Daladamas in the Simta? Or in Sidir Shusarabi, in a quiet place, but in a busy place, there's no Daladamas. Mimele, when the Oni throws himself, even if you don't, maybe you're happier with that answer, right? Even if we say that we try to work for his rights, really there are no Daladamas. It's not because of his lack of knowledge, of yes knowledge, no knowledge. There are no Daladamas in the Sada because it's a whole Balagan, it's a whole whole messy place. The Afal Gav, I, he's allowed to be there. The Afal Gav, the Zohar, Rechmono, Be, Gavo, even though the Oni has the right to be there. In other words, if I go to, I'll explain to the Gemara's question, I figure out now what the Gemara is trying to say. The Rishonim say, where else don't I have Daladamas? Let's say I'm cordially invited to the house of uh, Bo. Bo invites me to his house to see the holiness of Siva. Yeah, and I come to your house, and all of a sudden you're mere peset, and a gold watch flies from somewhere and falls into my Daladamas. Am I coin it? Even if I came to you with permission, with permission, and you, you roll the red carpet, and now the gold watch fell next to me in your balcony. No, I'm not Zoyche. Why? Because it's his property. Daladamas is only in a neutral terrain. Oh, now the Anim, one could argue and say, the Anim, maybe they're like the Balabais of the Sode. <laughs> they're allowed to be there. It's a time of Leket Shikhopea. Maybe the Anim became the Balabas. Says the Gemara, no, 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 even though the Oni has the right in it, in the field of the Balabas, the Torah gave you the right, Mr. Oni and all the other Anim, to walk in the field. To take the peya, you can walk as much as you want, you should be treated nicely, take the leket, shitcha, peya, do what you want. But to be considered like your chotzer, and Daladamas is a derivative of chotzer, right? Adkan. It's not your property, Mr. Oni. And you don't have Dalad Damas in there, and it happens to be normally or halachically meant to be blessedly crowded, that kind of place, there's no Dalad Damas. Even if right now you don't have other anim, but conceptually it's a very, very uh, public place, which means, I'll give an example. Let's say you drive in the middle of a busy road and you stop in the middle of the road, your car. <laughs> You're not allowed to stop there and just chat with your friend for half an hour, as opposed to the park fetch, because the Shusarabim is not a place to stop. Everybody has to drive. And even though right now there's no cars honking, but the etzem, you're lucky, but it's not a place where you're meant to do it. It's not meant for that. It's not meant to be private, not even for an instant. You don't have the Yodal Damas over there. That's Ad Khan Akofa Aleph for the Baises. You okay? Omar Robe, it's a good time for quick questions. Yeah. I'm listening. I want to compare it, and I'm triggered by what Baruch said, to Dalad Amis and Lushus Arabim. We all know that if you walk down the street in um, wherever, in uh, in the main street where there's no Eruv, in Manhattan, no, Manhattan is Manhattan. I don't want to talk about politics, questionable places, the gold is green, yeah? You walk down the street in Tokyo, you're a Kodesh. I somehow, my wild imagination tells me that in Tokyo, you're a Kodesh, there's no Eruv in the main street. Most probably, I don't know. Yeah, you walk in Tokyo on Shabbos, you head to the Chabad house, and you take, even Shlomo haven't been there. You take an object, and you pick it from the street, or in your pocket, one, two, three, four dollars, Amis, dollar plus Amis, and place it in another place in Dalad Amis, past Dalad Amis, you have the Oraise, Schile, or Korban, Why is that? Oh, the Rishonim say, the Rishonim say, Balamor, Ritvo, Ran, they say it has to do with our issue. Hmm, you know why? They say, similarly, although not exactly the same, just like you're not allowed to take on Shabbos, you're not allowed to take on Shabbos, we all know, the object from your house to the street, or vice versa. Rabim. Same thing, every person has Daladamas in Lushu Sarabim, and taking the object Daladamas in Lushu Sarabim is tantamount to taking it from one domain to the other. Hmm, is that so? I, we just say here that there's no Dal Damas in Lushus Arabim. And the answer is, it's not exactly your Dal Damas. It's a similar idea. The Shonim say, Lemaisa, the Gemara Daf Tzadi Vov, Amud Beis and Shabbos says, the reason why Dal Damas in Lushus Arabim is Chayev is not a real tolda of its own Lushus Lushus. We learn it, Allah Chalmashem Sinai. 
Allah Sinai means that if not for that oral teaching, Allah Sinai, we wouldn't have known that. It's not a real house and real Rashut. It's not a real passage in Rashut Lashut. Really, it's what? It's considered to be a new a new Av Malocha, a new Malocha called Dala Damas Bushusabi, which you learned from Allah Sinai. Once we have a Lachan Hashim Sinai, we loosely connect it to Oitzam Ushus Loshus. Otherwise, we'd have 40 of us Melochan, not 39. It's like a surrogate child. Once we know it exists, Mitzad, Mitzad, Allah Hashim Sinai, we connect it to Oitzam Ushus Loshus because it's a little bit similar to Ushus Loshus, but it's not really Ushus Loshus. Yeah? I'm happier now? That's. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. Another question. Yes. Uh, I'm listening. Hashem granted him rights only to walk in it and take the pail. And then it says, but for him to live in his courtyard, the most of the Says the Heilige Gemore, now Omar Obe, as we promised before, now Robert will elaborate on what he said. Omar Obe Moisid, Rabbi Yaakov Bar Idi, Nezikin. Rabbi Yaakov Bar Idi has a very, very similar question, but not from Pea. From the Zikin. And guess what? His question is from our very own Mishnah. And I think that's what Boruch meant before. Uh, a person saw the Metziah and he fell on the Metziah. Another person came and snatched it from him. The one who held it, the one who actually took it with Kinyan Agba, make sure he's Magbiya the entire thing. Is Zoycha, and the one who dramatically fell on it and dropped himself in it is not Koine. Why? Same question, exactly. This is more or less copy and paste of before. If you say a person's Daladamas acquire to him everything, everywhere. By the way, Shulchanor Paskin, he works also for Mecca for Memkar. Not only for Metzia, it also works for Mecca for Memkar, for Gitin and for Kiddushin. I want to add one more thing before we depart from the Sugya. Even those Rishonim who believe that it only works for Hefker, it also works for a get. Why? Let's say a husband wants to throw his wife, his non-beloved wife, that he's about to divorce, is standing in a simta, and she doesn't want him to give it to her hand. I've been through enough. Don't touch even uh, next to my hand, and he doesn't want to get near her, or the other reasons, and he throws her the get by her feet. By her daladamis, I don't mean by her physical feet to touch her shoes, I mean within her daladamis. Then she's divorced. His kavona is, I am Megarish in that. Woo! He's a good basketball player. He throws it over there. Yeah. Then she's called Megoreshes. Why? It's not Hefker. Says Toysus and others and Ritva, Mishum Iguna. We don't want a woman to be an Aguna. In other words, not the divorce is a good thing, but when you have to, you have to. And we don't want to have a situation of she's being a guna because later he'll change his mind. And she, you know, once the get is given, just get over and done with it. If you got that far, just do it and finish. Mimele Chachomim gave facilitated it more by allowing even through Dalad Ames to give the get. That's even even if you believe the Rishonim will say that it's a more limited limited edition kind of Kenyan. Alocha says it's for everything. Mekochmemka Kiddushin. Hitting everything. Now, in any event, the question is, as it was before, why do you say that the person who threw himself on the object is not koine? Lamaisa, it's right next to him. It's actually underneath him, even better. So why isn't he koine mitzad daladamis? Answers the Gemara, the same as before. You know the stories over here. He did not say, I want to be koine, with Daladamas, he did not declare he's interested in the kingdom of Chachomim. Frag the Gemara, who cares about what he says? Isn't it automatic? Be talking Rabbonon, if Chachomim made the Takono, Kiloi Oma, my Havi. So what if he didn't say? So what? Kevin, yeah, I say it works. And says Gemara, no, it's not automatic. Kevin did not follow since he did not behave in a passive way. Automatic may work, by the way. Let me just get it straight. Nobody says that you do have to say, I'm interested in Kenya Daladamas. If the object fell next to an Amha Oretz, and he doesn't know, but he's not passive and not active, he sees the gold watch falling next to Daladamas, yeah, or he runs to the place next to the gold watch, and he stands there quietly, grinning sheepishly, then what? He's koina. As long as he's not against Chachomim Takona, 
is automatically slash passively is koiner. Over here, he's behaving too good, which is really too bad. Here it's bad. Even the nofalale, he's davka, throwing himself on top of it. Galidaite, he shows, he shows, he makes a declaration. The benefila nichale de nikni. He only wants the nefila to be the acquiring thing, the acquisition. He does not want the Arba'abas to be koine because he's doing something else that is like too good. He's trying to outsmart Chachamim but doing more than what they offer him, what they suggest. And that extra good thing is not good at all. It's not a functional Kenyan. The Kenyan of Chachamim he left behind. He's not interested. That's called Kerach Mikan Mikan. He lost the, the, the stick on both ends. Uh, he, you know, no cake, you no know, having the cake, no nothing. Rav Shesha's Rav Shesha's answer is the same as before. Kitakino Abonon, you know, Rabonon made the Takon of Dalad Amis where I have my semi private domain when it's everything is mine next to my Dalad Amis. When is that? The Simta, in a quiet place, in a Simta, the Loidachi Rabim, in a place where Chacham, where, sorry, where people are not doichik. There's no conge- not congestion, there's no commotion, no density. The density is not high. Yeah, in a simta, it's a quiet place. I can sit on the bench, look at it in the park. In the park, there's Daladamas. The little children are playing there. The parents are in the thing. It's more of a quiet place. as a sit-down place. I'm allowed to have my 10, 5, 15 minutes of quiet in the corner there. That's a simta. There I can have my Daladamas too. It's a semi, semi-private place. However, the Kadachi Rabim, Loita Kinu Rabonon, in Oshusa Rabim, where? The Rabim are doichek. Yeah, everyone is on top of each other. There's a lot of, you know, commotion, a lot of, it's very dense over there. There's not a konos chachomim. Break the Gemara now, which we didn't ask before. How can you say it's a very nice, logical explanation, a very logical uh, dis- uh, distinction between a quieter place and a busy place? Makes sense. That's nice. However, if you look at Rosh Lakish's statement, he said, I think in English would be anywhere, everywhere. So it doesn't work right. You're Rav Sheshes, you're trying to tell me something to limit the words of, of Rosh Lakish. But Rosh Lakish himself said anywhere, so it should also be in the busy street. And says the Gemara, Kol Mokoim, Komokum comes to add not everywhere, anywhere. It means more than you would have expected, which means Tzide Rishu Sarabim. Tzide Rishu Sarabim are Kishmoi Kenu, the sides of Rishu Sarabim, which is also mentioned in Shabbos. We're not going there. There's also a discussion over there. Tzide Rishu Sarabim is the busy street, but it's the sides. Usually in the busy street, the middle, especially in today's world, right? The cars are in the middle. Yeah, there's a sidewalk. And by the side of the sidewalk, you know, it's it's more quiet. Sometimes, you know, when it gets a little bit busy in the middle, then people go to the side of the Shusarabim to take a breath before they join the rat race back to the middle. Yeah, they're running to work in Manhattan. But Lamai said that see the Shusarabim is not, listen to this, it's not as quiet as the Simta. It's not as busy as real, real Rosh Hashanah. It's somewhere in the middle. When the Shlakish said, Dala Dams is coin anywhere, he meant anywhere, not only Simta, not only a desert, <laughs> not only the beach, the quiet beach, even Rosh Hashanah, but in the Tzad, in the side of Rosh Hashanah. But in the busy, busy Rosh Hashanah, no way. In such a place, there is no Dala Dams. Everyone's on top of each other, or meant to be that way. And therefore, in such a place, there is no kinin of Daladamis. Now we're on to, and by the way, I told you Daladamis is the derivative, the Rabbonon, a rabbinical one, of Kinyan Chotzer. Now, actually, we're going to enter very excitedly the entire, the, not the entire, the one of the main places in Shas that describes the logic and the mechanism of Kinyan Chotzer. Kinyan Chotzer. And why is it really, and is it the Raisa, the Rabbonon? What's the source? Who said? Everything you wanted to know, almost, about Kinyan Chotza. Let's see how the Gemara starts the Sugya. Another statement with the exact same people. Shlakish quoting Abba Kohen Bardela. 
and he says like this, Ktana ein la chotzer, the ein la arba amois. Ktana, Ktana wants to get divorced. Ktana actually, she doesn't want to get divorced. Her husband, she's 10 years old, and her husband is not happy with her anymore for some reason. She does too many cartwheels and whatever. She jumps the rope. Doesn't have koyach for that 10 years old anymore. He wants to divorce her. And now what? And now he wants to throw her a get. What did he tell you before? Didn't I tell you? To throw a get next to a woman within the woman's daladamis in the appropriate place, in the simta, in the quiet place. That works. Okay, good. For Ktana, it doesn't work. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm mixing two things. She has no chotzer and she has no daladamis. She has no chotzer. In other words, even if the Ktana, let's say, owns a house, somebody bequeathed her a house, they could be. Or somebody gave her a house, yeah? She has a house, which could, could happen. So in that house, she doesn't have the Kenyan Chotzer. The Chotzer is not making things to her, not even for a get. And as I said before, if her husband throws the get to a Daladamis, also she's not divorced. Now the question is, why? Why is it the Ktana? Why not? Yeah, why isn't that she does not have, yeah. Why is it? Why not? Why doesn't she have Chotzer and she doesn't have Daladamis? That will be explained. But that's the opinion of Resh Lakish. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan is long life Chavrusa, brother in law and opponent. Rabbi Yochanan, Shum Rabbi Yanai, Omar, quotes Rabbi Yanai, Omar, yesh la Chotzer, the yesh la Arba Amois. Ektan has Chotzer and has Daladamis. I want to read to you from Rashi over here. Rashi says that, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, everything Rashi says, I told you. Yeah. The question is now, the Micah meet Legi. Again, let's start with Chotzer. Okay, let's start with Chotzer. According to Rishlakish, Ektana may be an owner of a mansion, a millionaire at the age of 10. She was the only daughter. Father bequeathed her a nice mansion, $100 million, something nice and small in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> Married. Of course, everyone wants to marry the 10 years old millionaire. And some threw her a get to the chotzer of the house. No, Kinin chotzer doesn't work. And something could be even not only by get, something falls into the chotzer. The chotzer is not coined to the ktana, according to Shlakish. According to Biochanan, yes. Why? The Micah Mitlagi. What is the source? What's the core? What is in the core of the Mechloikas where the ktana has chotzer or doesn't have chotzer? Malsobar. We start off with Rabbi Yochanan. The question is, why is Kinan Chotzer a Kinyan? What is the logic behind me not doing anything at all? Something falls into my backyard, into my mirpeset, a nice gold watch wrapped up, and what? And I'm the, the owner without doing anything. Why is that? The opinion, one opinion says, Chotzer Mishum Yado it says in a Kenyan, the Nosan Beyodo. When it talks about a get, let's assume now we're talking about get, as we said before. It says the Nosan Beyodo. We're going to read it in a few weeks' time. A man puts the get in the woman's hand, like this, Beyodo. And the person's Yad is not only his hand. Yad also means domain. As we saw previously in the parshas, Beikach is called also Miyodoi. When you say, I take the land from his hand, when Moshe took it from Sichoin, doesn't mean that Sichon in his hand has held his own land. It means ownership. It means domain ownership. Oh, so that means a chotzer is like an extended yad. Just like a person is coining something in his hand, he can call it hag, we call it meshicha. That's another story. Or a get is a passive kin and she has it in her hand. So too, a chotzer is an extension of the yad. It's a, an it's a, it's a, it extended yad. And therefore, a ktana. Of course, you can be megarish by the chotzer. Yechid is layad. A ktana has a hand. <laughs> if somebody gives the get to the hand of the ktana, of course she's megarish. She has a hand. She's not handicapped. Baruch Hashem. Chotzer nami is She also has a chotzer. In other words, chotzer is an extension of yad, just like the ktana has yad. Ktana gdoyla, black or white, who cares? Whoever has yad has a chotzer. Even a handicapped person also has a chotzer. <laughs> Doesn't mean he has to have a yad, yeah? And that also brings us to Chotzer Mishtameres, which I hope to have time today to explain to you, but for now, I'm just reading the Gemara inside. 
I prefer not now. G- give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Now, so that was Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan says, Ktana as Yad and as a Chotzer to be misgarish. Umal Sova, Rish Lakish that says she has no Chotzer for Kinyonim. Chotzer Mishum Shlichus is Raboi. A Chotzer is because of Shlichus. Wow. The Torah tells me a person can make a Shliach. If I make a Shliach, Yitzchok, please go be coin for me. A tea, a tea bag or more, yeah, which you're being very nice about. You can pick it up for me and be kind of for me. You're an adult, you're very close of a guy. And so too, a chotzer is like shlichus. A chotzer is like a messenger of the person. Wow. In other words, a person's chotzer works for him. Just like I can have, I'm saying very balabatishly, just like you can have a friend who does my, I don't want to say he does my shopping for me, he does my zchia for me. He picks up. And when he picks up, it's right away mine, right? Already the second he picked it up, his hand is like my hand. He's my shliach. So too, the chotzer. The, yeah, the chotzer is also, chotzer is working for me like a messenger. It's my property. My property is my friend. I'm saying very balabatishly, just from Sabal Soizen. Yeah, the property is part of me. And therefore, I'm mishaleach. It's as if I sent it to do kinyanim for me. My friend is coined it for me. Mechotzer, which is my domain, which works on my on my behalf for my benefit, is Kielu acquiring things for me. Now the Kiechid Shlichus Late Slaw, back to Ms. Ktana. The little Ktana, does she have Shlichus? No. Can a cotton make a shliach? No. It says ish. When it says about Shlichus, it says ish. Ish. There are three places in the Torah. Second pack of Kiddushin will learn Shlichus in Gitin, in Truman, in Kochim. Lamaise by Shlichus, it says a man below 12, before below 13, whatever the gender, in an amen, you have no Shlichus. Ah, the Ktana is in a disadvantage. Kechid Shlichus Leisla, she has no Shlichus. Chotzer Nami Leisla. She has no right to have Kinen Chotzer, just like she cannot send any Shlichim, so too she can't send, so to speak, a Chotzer. To be a shliach, and that's the reason of Shlakish why Ktana is no chotzer. Quick question, I prefer because we're a little bit behind. Uh, one question I allow, yes, Rabbi. Oh, yeah. I'm not entering now the union of Kiddush and of Ktana so much. It's not so. Of course, she could be Miss Garish. <laughs> Give it in her hand. Put it to her hand. Oh, he's saying she could be Miss Garish. She could be Miss Garish. Yes. Be Miss Garish. Put it in her hand. Put it in her basket. Put it in her bosom. But who says she has Daladamis? Mazakashu. Two different things. The father is not involved anymore by Gerushin, only by Kiddushin. By Gerushin, she has to get it. Nobody is Shlia. Who? Who? No, no, you're entering a whole new area, which at 10, 19, I'm not so excited to talk about. Nothing, sorry. No, 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 no. Ektana can be Miskadish and surely can be Miskadish. Happens to be, that's not one of the venues available for her. There are some Kinyon, for example, for a Goy and not for you. It's not for you, they're not for a Goy, seriously. Yeah, a Goy cannot be coined, I think, in the Messiah or Mashiach, I don't remember. A certain Kinyani by God, don't we? Oh, Konoi Miyad Amisecho, Miyad of the Jew, and not from a Goy. We learned it. I think it's Meshicha. It's not Konoi by a Goy. Yeah? Another Kinyani by Konoi, yes, by a Goy. Baiter. No, that's not her Kinyan. She can be Miss Garish. Put it in her hand. Baiter. Frek Digmore, Frek Digmore, Mi Ika Man de Omer Chotzer Mishum Shlichus Yisraboi. Could he possibly say, are you, are you real? Is that serious what you're telling me? Would there be a man, the Omar, a man that says, somebody that says that a chotzer is a derivative of shlichus? Is that so? Doesn't make sense, Batanya. It says about a good old friend, Mr. Ganev, Ganovsky. What did we learn about a Ganev? It says in the Raisa, Beyodoy. It says, If the stolen item is found in the hands of the Ganev, and it says, Let's say the Ganev was Kornim Kinyan Chotzer. He has the stolen item on his roof. 
in his chotzer, in his backyard, the Karpov, how do you know that he's also called the Ganev and he's Chayb Achrayes? Bechule, bechule, beoinsin, tamud loimah, himotze, timotze, mikol mokoim. The word himotze repeats itself to tell me that even though the Ganev was Kohen Bekin and Chotzer, a Ganev had the gold watch fall into his Chotzer and did not return it and his intention is to steal it and keep it by him, even though it's a Kenyan Chotzer. Kenyan Chotzer works for a Ganev. Ah, so it doesn't make sense. What does it make sense? If you tell me Chotzer is because of Shlichus, it's a derivative of Shlichus. In Ken, if so, but in the Shlichus Vavero. The Chotzer is a Shlichus Vavero. The Chotzer is what? Is a partner in crime. He's an accomplice to the crime. <laughs> He's actually sending, quote unquote, his chotzer to acquire the gold watch of the victim of the nignav, the kaimalan, and we have the halacha that we all know, and shlichus va'avero. Yeah, when it comes to va'avero, the shlichus doesn't work, which means the one punishable is only the shliach, and the meshaleach is not punished. The meshaleach has no achrayis. If a ganav sends someone, hey, hey, go ahead and be koina, koina, <laughs> go and steal the sheep of Mr. Reuben, then the Ganev, the real Ganev, the one who makes his hands dirty with Gneva, is the real Ganev. The one who's the engineer, the brain, the one who's the Meshaleach, is not Chayev. So also over here, why are you telling me a Ganev has Kinyan Chotzer? Bishlam, if you say Chotzer, is Yad. It's like his own hand. His own hand works, of course. It's like he stole it in his hand. Chotzer also steals for him, and he's Chayev, and he's Koineh. But if you said that the Chotzer is a Shaliach, when it comes to an Avera, last time I checked, it says, Lot Ignoivu, not allowed to steal. So it's an Avera. In Avera, Shlichus doesn't work. And it says, Gemara, no, 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 no. Omar Avina, what's the reason that we say in Shlichus Vavera? Because we tell the Shliach, what do we tell the Shliach? Divra Arav, Divra Tal, Divra Mishoimin. Says the Gemara, Omar Avina. Hey, Chamrina, then Shlichus Vavera. When is it that we say that there's no shlech al which means the shaliach works on his own and is disconnected from the meshaleach, the imaginal, yeah, the imaginary cord between them is severed, that's by avera, that's hecha the shlech bar And the shaliach himself is a bar If the shaliach is a yid, the shaliach is another Jewish person or even a goy, but the goy there's no shlichus anyways, another Jew is bar we say, hey, who did the crime? Who committed the crime which he shouldn't have? The shliach. And the shliach cannot be able to be five years old in the kindergarten and say, he tells me, you listen to the stupid idiot? Sorry. Or do you listen? Sorry. Or you listen to Hashem? You listen to Hashem? You listen to Hashem? So your shliach is, is, is just incompetent. You're going to tell the chotzer, behave yourself. You're going to tell the stones and the brick and mortar and the chotzer, that's not a chiyuv. Then, Michayev Sholchoi. So, Mimela person is Chayev, the Meshaleach, the engineer, so to speak, which is really the owner of the house, is the one who becomes the Ganev and is Chayev Benediki, Bachrais, Beoinsin, the Chulei. Quick, 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 quick. Ela Me'ata, according to what you just told me now, Ha'oimer Le'isho Ve'eved, a woman and a slave. They, if they steal, they don't have to give back what they stole. Why? Because we assume that Avodim don't have money and most women don't have much money, right? Women may have money, but the traditional, you know, family value system of the Torah, the husband works and supports the wife and she doesn't have money because the small money she makes, she gives him. There are tons of exceptions, but that's a classical case. So a woman and a slave, they don't have to give back the money. Ah, if so, let's say a man tells a woman or an Eved, go and steal something for me. They don't have the chiyuv to return what they stole. The chiyuv hashava, they don't have. Maybe here also you're going to say that what? That the shaliach is chayev and not them. Maybe again we'll say, maybe we'll say, yes, shaliach l'dvarvera, because you can't blame them, because they're not in the parsha of stealing. And Mimela, it's like a stone. It's like they're like an, an inanimate object, like the Chotzer, and the Bailim, the Meshalech should be Chayev. And the answer is very, very 
simple and easy. Omar, Yisha Bevid Mnech Yuveninu, Avade, woman in an Eved, even Eved Knani, of course they have the Chiyuv of Loi Tignoivu, not allowed to steal, and not allowed to be Goizel. The hash to me, a lace lulish lumi. There's a side technical issue right now. They are penniless because the money is subjugated to the owner or to the husband. They don't have how to pay. So it's just a temporary thing. It's a side thing, it's a technical thing. That none, it says in the Mishnah, Nizgar Shaisha. The woman gets divorced. One day after she gets divorced, she gets a mail in the le a letter in the mail saying, What? <laughs> you stole. While you were married, you stole from the shop, thousand shekel worth. Now that you're divorced, you have money of your own. Now you have to pay the victim the thousand shekels because now you have your own financial entity. You want to be an independent woman, 60s, the Vakasha. Pay for all the pay for all the debts you accumulated when you stole. So be etzem she's chayev. Nishtachera eved. The eved got free. Chayovin l'shalem, they have to pay. Okay. Thank you very much. Questions? You were going to ask something or? Okay. Thank you very much. It's Lofa Rabo. The full shlame to everyone. Se aloche.